Hello, Guardians of Light. This is Riku Night Shadow bringing to you yet another Pokemon deck profile. This is seriously going to become a series, isn't it? Well, this is the actual last deck that I could have built because I had the appropriate number of cards. And it's playable. And the only reason why I know it's playable is because I played it while I was at my tree at the my the Pokemon Club that I go to every Sunday at twelve. That's why I can't stream on Sundays. Anyways, this deck is going to be really awesome because boom, it's my channel mascot. Well, one of the two channel mascots now, because Vulpix is now a channel mascot of mine. But this is the original channel mascot. Anyways, this is an Umbreon Sceptile deck. I was, and I was going to include Mega Sceptile in it, but I never pulled Mega Sceptile out of Ancient Origins. My cousin did, but I didn't. Anyways, this deck has one... Two Umbreons. Yes, I got both the <laughs> full art version and the regular one. I am so happy about that. Darkrai. Two Sableyes, because I just threw them in there for fun. Volibi and Mandibuzz. Just threw them in for fun. Sharpedo EX. Bacon Bird. Two Oblivion Wing. Um, Valtals and Fright Night Valtal. Zorua and Zor and Mind Jack Zorark. Let me tell you this: Mind Jack Zorark has gotten me out of basically tough situations. Inke and Malamar. Hang on, I gotta rearrange this. So, one, two, three Eevees. These are just placeholders for now. And one Zora. That's Zora Umbreon. So, I totally have three Umbreons in this deck. This deck is heavily based around Umbreon. I got the Mew EX promo with that versatile so I can. Do that and use Lunatic Scent. To um, reveal price cards. Here's that Mega Sceptile EX that I talked about. Spinneract and Ariados, so that way I can poison my opponents. Snivy, Servine, and Superior, because. I want to make them them my channel mascot. Oddish, Gloom, and Blossom. Because I need some more cards. Okay, now it's on to the supporters. I get two Pokemon fans club fan clubs. Professor Birch's Observation. Ashana. Lasso Special. And a Pokemon Center Lady. I realized that this deck needed some healing. Okay, items. Slash tools. Professor's Letter. To get out those dark energies. Energy Retrieval. To get back those energies. A Super Rod. The Evolution Spray in case a person wants to get out that Zora, Zora Greninja break. Which is the only killer of this deck. And now the two stadiums I have is Forest of Giant Plants to get out to evolve that Spinneracky easily. And Reverse Valley to add that 10 more damage onto my dark Pokemon. And I got one, two, three, four of these DCs. One from Noble, no, not Noble Factory, Next Destinies. And I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight 
dark energies and one, two, three, four, five, six grass energies. Anyways, that has been my Umbreon deck that I built and I did not actually have to use any of the any of the other decks to actually build this deck. So hopefully you'll be able to build this deck really easy. It's really easy on the pocket money because you can literally just buy the promo blister pack uh, with the breakpoint to get this lunatic 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 sense I'm beyond promo and these these two cards by them for both of them are twenty five dollars so. Yeah. So this has been Riku Night Shadow. Hopefully you can actually build the Umbreon deck. This Umbreon deck. And I hope you enjoy. This has been Riku Night Shadow. Peace. Later.